podium right over there. Okay. I tried to avoid that. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Sheriff Bill Gore. Uh, I want to start off our little brief press conference here by expressing uh, our condolences to all the people that uh, injured uh, in this senseless act of tragedy that visited Poway uh, this afternoon. At about uh, 1123 this morning, uh, a white male adult entered the Shabbat Temple at 16934 Shabbat Way in Poway, California. This individual was with an AR, AR type assault weapon and opened fire on the people inside the, the synagogue. During the shooting, uh, four individuals were wounded and transported to Palomar Hospital. Sadly, one of the uh, individuals succumbed to their wounds. The other three are in stable condition at Palomar. As the suspect was fleeing the temple, an off-duty border patrol agent uh, opened fire on the suspect, but it apparently did not hit him, but uh, struck the car as it departed the area. The uh, people at Palomar, one is a, a, a female juvenile in stable condition, and uh, two adult males are in stable condition. Sadly, uh, an older uh, female died from and succumbed to her wounds uh, she obtained in the shooting. The suspect was shortly taken into custody, and I'll turn it over to Chief Dave Nislight from San Diego Police Department to give you the details of that arrest. Chief? Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, as this incident was unfolding, a San Diego police officer, canine officer, was en route to the scene uh, he was monitoring both the San Diego Police Department's uh, dispatch and the Sheriff's dispatch, heard the call and started making his way towards this call. Uh, as he was en route, he also uh, overheard a CHP scanner of a suspect who had called into CHP to report that he was just involved in this shooting and his location, which was Rancho Bernardo in the Interstate 15. As our officer was exiting the freeway, he clearly saw the suspect in his vehicle Suspect pulled over, jumped out of his car with his hands up, and was immediately taken into custody uh, by the San Diego Police Department. Uh, as the officer was placing this 19-year-old uh, male into custody, he clearly saw a rifle sitting on the front passenger seat of the suspect vehicle, uh, and the suspect, as I said, was taken into custody without any further incident. This investigation will be led by the San Diego County Sheriff's Department but it'll be a joint investigation with the San Diego Police Department and the federal investigation. Uh, with us this afternoon is acting special agent in charge, Omer Mizell. Omer. Thank you, Sheriff. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we'd like to offer our deepest condolences to the victims of this tragedy. Uh, tragedy. Um, as soon as uh, we were made aware of, of the incident, uh, the FBI deployed resources immediately uh, to the scene. We've uh, deployed all relevant assets to assist with this investigation. Um, we're working closely with our local, state, and United States Attorney's Office on the investigation. Um, and with that, I'll turn it back over to you. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department uh, provides uh, law enforcement uh, services to the city of Poway. And we're joined here this afternoon and would like to say a few words by the mayor of Poway, Steve Voss. I want you to know, this is not Poway. The Poway I know comes together as we did just a few weeks ago in an interfaith event. We always walk with our arms around each other and we will walk through this tragedy with our arms around each other. We have deep appreciation for those who showed courage at the Chabad, deep appreciation for the law enforcement agencies that responded so quickly. We will get through this our thoughts and prayers will be with the families and those who are investigating. Poway will stay strong and we will always be a community that cares for one another. The Anti-Defamation League and our trauma intervention teams have set up a family assistance center 
at Poway High School to be available to anybody that uh, wants their services. So I, I would uh, commend people in the community to come together and uh, maybe meet at Poway to, uh, to talk about the grief that we're all suffering right now. We will be back in, in about two hours with more details as the investigation unfolds. Uh, I'll take a few questions if you have any right now. Sheriff, do you know the, any details, I guess, about the suspect that you can give us and maybe even a motivation for this? No, we don't, uh, we're not gonna release that right now. He's, uh, it's in the process of being interviewed by homicide investigators from the Sheriff's Department and the FBI. Uh, we'll have those details later, but. Uh, is there a letter that you left? We have uh, copies of, of his social media posts and his open letter, and we'll be reviewing those to determine the legitis, legitimacy of it and, and exactly how it plays into the investigation. How many okay. shots were fired? I don't have the exact number of shell, uh, shots that were being fired. The crime scene is being done as we speak. Do you know, know if where he's connected from? to the Habad? I'm sorry? Do you know if he's connected to the Habad? I do not know. Do we know where he came from? We, we have an address for him here in, San, in San Diego. He's in the city of San Diego. Yes, he's an adult male from the city of San Diego. I'm sorry. Yeah, we have, uh, there are a lot of people still at the synagogue waiting to be interviewed by homicide investigators. How many people in How many were in the room? I heard there's close to 100 people waiting to be interviewed. How many were in the room at the time? I couldn't give you the exact number. I know there's about 100 people to be interviewed right now. I couldn't tell you. Sorry. Was there robbed by you, sir? Not that I know of. I, heard something I, I, I don't. I don't know all the details on the victims. But Did the suspect say anything when he was apprehended? We're not going to discuss that right now, uh, while the investigation is ongoing. So was the off-duty border patrol agent inside when this whole thing happened, or did he hear something and then go inside? My understanding, he was inside the synagogue uh, when the shooting uh, broke out. Did the man enter the synagogue in the middle of, of services? I don't know those details. Last question, guys. Last okay. question. Okay. We'll be back in about two hours, hopefully, with some more details for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.